Okay. Let us move just here. And then perhaps I grab this. Post it over to Discord. My gosh. Uh, Alright, there we go. There. There. Okay. Excellent. So. You know how I promised I'd do all the. I'd look through the rapports and figure out which ones were good and all that? Yeah, I didn't do that. Sorry. No, I was, uh... I've been reading the instruction manual for Dominion 6. It's, um... It's more than 400 pages, and I still have a lot more to go. Uh... It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. Oh, boy. Alright, we're gonna fight a bunch in the north, and I want to claim this side of the continent first. If we can get ourselves another 3.6%, I can go down and uh, hit the quest guy again. <sighs> I wanna... I wanna beat the one fight at the Royal Mausoleum. But we aren't even close. So let's go around here, find a few more things to recruit, and see if we can improve our parties with equipment and new characters, eh? Hey, Argus. I'm not entirely sure what to do with the new hires we've got so far. The owl is the most promising to me, although this guy's very interesting too. I have a lot of archers. I'm running nine archers in my teams already. I don't know if I need another archer, to be honest. But this one is interesting. I mean, it can destroy armored foes, so that's that's a thing. Eventually, she'll get abilities that freeze the enemies, so she might be really good. I don't know. Anyway... The man we faced the last job didn't have many units. Uh huh, uh huh. Ah, okay, we're gonna be dealing with troop sizes of five now. Yes, I've already done that, thanks. Supreme. Have we ever seen a Supreme? Oh. It doesn't have anything about levels. It just says, here's 10,000 EXP. Oh, that's nice. Last time we picked up this here, Mason's Hammer. It's only got 10 physical attack, but it it's... It hits for 200 with an accuracy of 25. You know what? I don't like this thing. I think it's no good. I'm going to ignore it. Uh, I have this big old pile of uh, XP I could just pour out on someone, but I'm not sure who needs it yet. We do have some people who are underleveled. I'll hold on to it for now. Alright, so, let us go, yeah, sure, we'll start with this. Alright, there'll be a bridge I can't fix over there, and then, All right, she's part beastman, or maybe she'll randomly transform at some point in the game and we'll be like, whoa, she was actually a rabbit person all along.
Well, uh, that was different. <laughs> okay. Well, that was different. <clears throat> Alright, so we have a bridge here. That's preventing me from getting over there. And that's probably gonna lock me out of uh, this side of the continent for now. As much as I want to hit that right now, I don't think I can. We still haven't found any sort of flying mount for me or anything. But there's always been places I haven't been able to access. So, I don't know what's up with that. Maybe the Angel Continent will figure it out. Anyway, this is locked to me for now, so I guess we're gonna go a different direction. How about... Uh... How about... I guess we'll just kinda go this way and hit things. Let's see, we could go this way. There's definitely a fight waiting for us up there. Let's see, we did that one, I think. Alright, how about you? Will you give me access to foxes? Yeah, apparently the fox doesn't have a very good nose. The fox lady can't sniff out details like this. Huh. A weir seal. <laughs> See, if you're going to curse somebody with, uh, lycanthropy, hit him with something like a weir fish. <laughs> so long as you don't have an aquatic-based empire, it should make them significantly less of a threat to you and your men when they transform. You don't see too many weir insects. A weir praying mantis would be pretty epic. You also don't often see weir elves or weir dwarves. <laughs> you turn into a dwarf under the light of the full moon. And then you have a fey mood, and you have to go forge something. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> All right. Hmm. Well. Oh, that was going to be one of those in the fight. Ooh, look at this. Oh, no, that has to be something. Come on, that is the entrance of a dungeon if I've ever seen one. Nobody goes and makes something like that and then doesn't fill it with treasures and demons or undead or something. Come on now. Maybe I just need to conquer the region first. Alright, let's hit this. With wolf weirs? 
Yes! I do know of Wolf Weirs. There's actually a fair amount of uh, different variations on lycanthropes that they did in D&D. But somehow there was never a weir elemental that I can remember. Definitely no weir um, angels, <laughs> celestials. No weir demons, which would have actually been fairly fitting and on brand. Weird demons would have worked well. I don't remember ever reading of a weird dragon, and that one really feels like there's no way they didn't have that in somewhere, in some edition. Like, someone must have made a weird drake or something. Ah. Uh. Oh, please. Future pollution is nothing compared to the pollution in the 1800s. Oh, now that was polluted. <laughs> oh, I get allies again. Your combat specialty is deflecting enemy attacks. Just figure out the rest as we go. Yeah, I'm interested in the Weir Fox, actually. I don't know what it can or can't do. Uh, I lose if they get there? Are you sure, game? No, wait, hold on. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, okay. Well, let's take a moment to think. Because they clearly control this territory, so why is this... And I need to rescue this guy? He's all by himself! Oh my gosh! Is he gonna behave himself, or is he gonna get eaten? Well, this isn't quite the region I thought I was gonna be fighting in, but hey, Divine Rain Effigy, that's nice. Alright, we have... Oh, we do not have much. We really don't have much going for us here. Oh, shit. They got the frickin' siege weapons, and we've got a couple ballista? Oh, this is not good. However, tell me your secrets. You are the class I'm most curious about. Bear Crush. A stun attack. I love that. All right, round swing attacks a row of enemies, damages the more H. Eh. Are you really trying to be a damage dealer? Increases damage based on the less hit points you have. Oh, okay, so when you're strong, you hit them with this. When you're low on health, you hit them with that. Still, an attack all enemies is a very good ability. Let's see, heavy guard. Uh, okay, well, that's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. They have good valor skill. They can heal themselves. <sighs> <sighs> You count as heavily armored, which is a massive debuff as far as I'm concerned. Your magic defense is crap. But you have pretty good defense, and your physical attack is actually really good. I was kind of hoping for a hoplite, but what we have is... Closer to a gladiator... Recovering 60% of your health. This guy would work well with a toughness belt. 
A toughness belt. Yeah. That would work very well. You'd hit... This is unguardable. 100% hit rate. So this could hit pretty hard. And then you'd heal 60% or 30% depending on the time of day. I don't know. I don't know quite what to make of this class. It's interesting. Being able to hit all enemies is um, spectacular. Though they won't hit flyers. Um, I like the stun attack. I really do. But I'm a little iffy about how viable you are. S-ranked hit points, only a C rank on physical defense, and an F on magic defense and, well, evasion. Ah, you're a tank! But you're not a very good tank. You're actually... Mm. Your defense is not up to snuff, man. And being armored infantry and bestral... There are way too many things that murder you. Mmm. I kind of thought because they had a hammer, they were going to smash other armored units, but that's actually not part of their skill set. Weirdly. So... Huh... I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to build around the Beastmen right now. The werewolves are really interesting, but they just kinda... Like, if they're winning, they just keep getting more and more powerful and rip everything apart. If they're not killing the enemies, I'm afraid that they just get... crushed. I don't really have a ton of use for something that fights in that way. Now these, on the other hand... Guard seal. You can't block us anymore. Passive seal. You can't use any passive abilities. Venom thrust? Uh... Reduces their HP recovery as well as poisoning a row? Eh... I don't know, as far as level 30 abilities go, that's kind of lackluster. The bear wants to hit all the enemies, and you're like, I can hit two guys and poison them. And so that, that feels more like a level, you know, 10 ability. They dodge, and if it's at night, they can dodge endlessly. And this is what makes them very interesting. Unlimited dodge at night. If your ally attacks, you leap forward and blind the enemy. This is good. Attack after the enemy is debuffed. So you debuff an enemy and then all of these foxes leap forward and hit them for 150% damage and ignore their defense. These are interesting. These are interesting. Uh, definitely could get some big use out of these Valor skills. Weakness Hunter, I feel like I could build a team around this. If I gave, set them up to have four blue gems, and then I set them up with a, some, maybe a shaman. Yeah, a shaman to debuff the enemy's defense, and then these guys leap forward as a mob and just rip them apart. Like, I could see building a team around the Weir Foxes. The Evade also makes me feel like I could put them in the front row and support a team with this. But the nighttime thing bugs me. I'm just not sure what to do with you. And I don't think that you fit together very well with the foxes. You guys don't combo well. 
Anyway, we've got some interesting new options in the Beastmen that we're going to be recruiting as time goes on. Ah, uh, let me see this. There's, there's no way you can fight anything. I'm mistaken. You can kind of fight things. Some things. Um... I just want her to go there. Yeah, that's the best move. For her. Alright, let's go. Looks more like a weird mouse. Yes, that's what the sea creatures do in that. Some of the stuff tends these animals to committing acts of cannibalism. <sighs> Probably! But animals don't need a reason to engage in acts of cannibalism, depending on the animal. Uh, <laughs> I didn't understand, back when I owned rabbits, why I caught them eating meat. I later learned that most herbivores do in fact eat meat on occasions in their life. I've also seen animals engage in cannibalism and other things. Oh boy. Animals, man. Pigs are the most terrifying of all. Pigs are just freaking. I would never want to own a pig. Especially the big ones. There. Oh boy. But yeah, I could talk quite a bit about uh, pollution in rivers historically and uh, very alarming things. I think my favorite is the River Thames in England, but uh, a much more modern example with DuPont. Anyway, we're not going to go into all that stuff right now. I need to focus on the strategy because this is a very large, complex map, and I don't know how much time I have to rescue this guy. I don't entirely know how this is going to go. I'm contemplating whether or not to spend a Valor Point to try and teleport to this guy. I haven't used that teleport ability. How much does it cost? Yes, people. Two, I would be giving up two deployment points, but I could bring my leader here to rescue this guy. If my leader can actually win these fights. Yeah, he totally can. But is this really wise? Because we have a lot of fighting from a lot of directions. I need to get somebody to shut down that catapult, like, immediately. Ah, jeez. Ah, I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna do something. I think this is the second time in the game I've used one of these. There, that gives me the teleport. That's the price of one teleport. Oh, come on! Oh, shit. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, hold on. I can't teleport to him. Okay, hold on. Restrategizing everything. Ah, uh, crap. I needed to see how they were moving over here. All right, all right, all right, all right. If I go up here and cross the bridge, I can protect these guys. But then these stupid barricades, I'll have to, sp I can spend a valor point to cr crush them and I can take the catapult and push through to the rescue. The alternative would be to go this way. I'd protect this point, whatever that does for me. And I could scoop these and try to come at it this way. I'm 
gonna go for... I'm gonna go for flight. These teams... They can definitely handle it. Okay. Alright, the three of you. Let's do the rescue before we find ourselves losing. Get that catapult dead first. Alright, that leaves me with two teams to handle the rest of the war. So, uh, we have to choose carefully here. Shit, I did things in a terrible order. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. You need to take this bridge. And you need to do something about all of this. Good luck with that! I should have... I should have done the Griffin speed up before... Mm. Alright, well, whatever. I'm sure there's reports of them doing all kinds of things. There's all kinds of pollutants and things that do all sorts of effects. Uh, the most meme-tastic is, of course, turning the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> that's actually based in... And that's actually based in reality. As much as it's a total meme, it's like, no, actually, that's a real thing. Uh... <laughs> That pollution did. But, uh... Yeah, no, pollution does all kinds of stuff. Uh, cause... Well, let's take the word pollution away and look at what it is. Random chemicals frequently have unintended impacts. And a lot of chemicals have gotten into water. And... Well... It's not even necessarily, like, that anyone did anything wrong. It's like, somebody can take medicine, and then they can go to the bathroom. And some of the medicine passes through, and that'll eventually end up in the rivers and in the water supplies. Like, there's a lot of just chemicals that have ended up in in things. Also the plastics. The plastics worry me the most. Because they worry me quite a bit. Anyway, let's have a big old brawl now. Dogs trained to bring boars after the boars are hit by cars? That does not sound like normal hunting methods to me. Alright, let's see how this performs. I'm very iffy on this team. I just want them to secure one point. Can they do it? Ooh, they're hitting at least. Nope, nope, I jinxed it. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, uh, yes, Goose, I am aware. It concerns me. The microplastics are in everything now. And as funny as I find George Carlin's uh, bit on plastics, uh, I disagree with him. <laughs> I think it is very much a concern. But, not what we're here for today, not something I can solve. Honestly... They're probably gonna make a bacteria that eats it, eats the microplastics at some point, and when that gets released into the environment, um... HOPEFULLY IT DOESN'T MUTATE! 
but it will also well it'll eat your car and it'll eat your packaging and it'll eat your computer <laughs> that's my best guess as to where we're going we're probably going to go that route to get rid of all of this because uh, there's no other way to get it out of the environment there's no way you can filter it it can't be done so, so yes, they're probably going to cook up something in a lab to just eat it all. Well, then we just have to hope that, you know, they don't fuck the world up in some way when they release it. But hey, I'm not a, I'm not an expert on the subject. I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe someone will develop a way to filter it. I find it unimaginable, but uh, you never know. As long as we don't go the gray goo route. Please don't go the gray goo route. <laughs> that would be the worst. <laughs> I want sort of short story where it was basically the setup of the gray goo thing where it got loose and they're all worried and and it was losing to just regular germs and microorganisms already in the environment and and they just started releasing cleaning products and things that would kill it <laughs> your clothing potentially yes yes you know how you can tell that your pants are made of plastic when you get too close to your wood stove and suddenly you you brush it and there are holes that melt in your pants like the pair I'm wearing right now has a few holes in it because that exact thing happened and I need to I need to throw them out now and it's sad because I liked this pair. They're really nice. They're very comfortable and and just I like them. I don't know whether or not I should take that away from her. I keep being on the fence about it. She has such good abilities. Alright. And now this team shows how terrifying it is. <laughs> oh, that made you angry, did it? Oh, you're ready to completely destroy us, are you? Oh no! Whatever shall we do? Oh yeah, we'll just do this. Yeah, you're screwed. That was it. It's already over, man. Your team lost. have any boars up here occasionally you hear about a moose that got hit by a car but let me tell you when a moose and a car get in a fight nobody wins grants the user max initiative for their next action but minus 50 crit rate This is interesting. She would immediately start casting her spell. Immediately. But she'd give up her crits. She's not exactly a high crit rate character. 
考えるんだ。She's not exactly a high crit rate character. I think that's acceptable. It would mean a losing out on her other awesome abilities. I did like the idea of her true striking the thunders, but let's see how quickly she can use Trinity Rain before we make a judgment on this. How quickly can you drop your spell? Because if you can hit sooner. Oh, they're running away. Huh. Wait, you're not friends. Oh! You're berserk. You're neither friend nor foe. And you're about to jump onto one of our units, so we have to crush you. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see how dodgy you are when you're up against team... I should give this team a name. Deathstroke, Flame Stun, Merciless. Merciless sounds about right for them. Oh, really? The boar survives getting hit by the car, so they give oh, they send armored dogs to finish it. That is kind of crazy. Oh, it's on the leg. It wouldn't even be, you know, it's not like it's... The, the, the holes in the pants are on the leg. Terrible, but... It is enough to ruin a pan pair of pants in a way that can't be mended easily. So... Okay, good work. Alright. So that burned up some of your stamina, but. Ooh. Okay, before we go on, are you guys okay to fight? No, you need to keep going. Alright. Your objective is to defeat all three of these by yourself. Are you up to the task? Definitely. Okay, good news on that. And then we'll probably pull it back. You're still trying to get to the medical thing. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We've already found a gap. And with just the house carls in the back, that was gonna be... Okay, we've already found a gap. You guys need to stop them. Um, not yet. Not yet. Hello there! You're dead. I mean, you're already half dead from Ballista Fire, but now you're all the way dead. Row protection! Grants allies in the user's row plus 50% physical defense? Why isn't that interesting? Do you want to do that? You wouldn't be able to bulwark then. Bulwark seems pretty important, but 50% defense when he's using his uh, lean edge to heal himself. That's not bad. I kind of like both of these. You need another red. Where am I going to get a red? I'm going to have no choice but to give up something or... Mm. I'm going to need another one of these for you. Yeah, okay. Hodrick here. Why are you offensive and keen? Ugh, I need more mirrors! I need to fix more guys! Anyway. 
I'm gonna have to fix him up with a couple of things. Uh, he needs another red at least. Yes. Oh shit. That catapult, uh, was shooting at my three guys. But they're hasted enough that they couldn't be caught. What are we doing with this guy? I don't see a talk thing. I said I'm supposed to rescue him, right? What am I doing exactly? Do I need her to talk to them, or...? I don't know what we're doing here. Correspondence, what's gonna happen? All right. All right, hurry up, catch the catapult. Yes, we caught the catapult. Oh my gosh. Is the archer really that deadly? Well, it's a good thing we're so close to... Oh my gosh, he is. It's a good thing we're so close to a camp. Because holy crap! Power word death. <laughs> we should find out what that dog armor looks like and post a picture at the open XCOM. Uh, uh, Discord. The uh, XCOM files. Man, can you believe how many years it's been since I did the XCOM files? They have added so much to the game. And one of the things is they actually started introducing a little bit of dog armor. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Man. Really? Is it really that bad? Oh, it's, it's pretty bad. Holy crap. Does that help any? No. Yes? Suddenly they'll die. So that did something. Well, let's see if her quick cast works. At least we'll learn that. Oh. Okay, he does initiative up. Oh, that'll cancel the quick cast because you can't have two limited abilities. Right. Okay, then, then that's not even a... Yeah, okay. Okay, he takes a guaranteed crit. I'd rather you get a guaranteed hit. Ugh, that Griffin Glide thing. That's a menace. That's right, keep doing it. There's a reason this guy has four blue. It's so that he can block and block and block and block and block. <laughs> Pretty close. You guys can't keep fighting in the, uh, Reign of Arrows. It will not work. We do. Uh, 
If I had cloning, you guys can't even imagine what I'd do with them all. If I had clones, I know exactly what I'd do. It's even better if I can get, uh, if I can get a room outside of time to go with it so that I have unlimited time to work with as well. Oh, then I could really go nuts. Okay, that won't work because that's a ground-based attack. Uh-oh. Oh, we have problems. Oh! Alright! Okay, she needs to be the blow. Alright, power word, death. Hmm. Wow, what a lousy level that was. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, take that out. I suppose you can run the catapult. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna use the camp now. Okay. Archer's down. I'm gonna actually use the full grilled steak. He's gonna be a busy... He's gonna be a busy guy for a little bit. With the mages... Man, that mage team is most improved. Once they got their level 30 ability, they became amazing, didn't they? They were they were really underperforming for most of the game. And then just all of a sudden. Uh, suddenly all of a sudden. Boom. <laughs> 800 million. Yeah, that would be pretty pretty effective, I'd say. Oh, they're obviously based on Naruto, so they work like him. Every clone has your exact intelligence and all of your skills, and for some reason you have all of the memories from all of them when they disappear. So, you know, very fast way to uh, gain new skills. Have 800 million, million of yourself all holding guitars for half an hour doing their best. You'll accelerate at the way you you will massively accelerate your speed at being bad with the guitar. <laughs> I don't think the game is almost over. Um, somebody I think somebody said level twenty was where the game started, and like level twenty seems to transform all the characters. But yeah, I'd say we're about halfway. Let me see. Yeah, there's two continents left. So yeah, ba basically, basically at the halfway point, the mages suddenly became good. Really, really good. To decide if I'm going to use Valor Points or if we're going to try to deploy more troops. All right, let's start by giving our healing here. And even though you're about to start healing from the camp, a little more couldn't hurt. And this team... 
It's got three fights ahead of it, so we'll give them a little gift as well. Okay, cool. All mages! A misfortune for you. Yeah, they're all running teams of five, and most of my teams are still fours. Hmm. Oh, that sucked. Come on, guys, you can do better than this. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes, they just dodged electricity. They're that fast. This team is ridiculous. This team is absolutely absurd. If they fail to dodge even once, they'll get stunned. And then pummeled to death by these spells while they're stunned. But, um... <laughs> That's three! Four! Five, all five. So the, the, the Elven Fencer had a 44% chance of getting hit. So this was actually kind of extremely lucky. Uh, but the other Fencer, the one with the two swords, no, we totally min-maxed her. She had a 1% chance of getting hit. Which, well, okay, I've played, I've played games with D100s. Let me tell you. Well, you roll the dice enough times, and you will see a 100. Or a 1. But, uh, not very often. 1% one, one is pr pretty, pretty good. Seize the bridge, and then we'll go seize all that. Ah, yes, catapult. That feels like a good place to to uh, invest a few rocks. You're still waiting to move. How unfortunate. Well. <laughs> two? You got two people there? Get that. Alright, I should grab that, and then I should head over there when I'm done being introduced to rocks. Oh, they don't stand a chance. They don't stand a prayer. Nope. Is the map ending when I took this? I don't recall. Oh, well, I'll take that. Hello, you seem to have fully charged your ability. And just before you can use it, we come in and wipe the floor with you. How many Shadow Clones is common in that series? Naruto? Oh, have you never seen Naruto? Oh. Okay, so Naruto was one of the big three with Bleach and... Uh, one Piece. With Bleach and One Piece, my mind kept saying Dragon Ball, and I'm like, no, 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 that was that was way before. Yeah. So anyway, it was one of the big three. Um, anyway, the premise of Naruto, basically, you have a kid, and everybody kind of hates him, and nobody likes him, uh, because he has a demon fox sealed in him. They, they tell you that, like, very early in the show. Uh, one of these giant super monsters that there's only like seven of in the world, and he has one of them sealed in him. Anyway, so, you know, the, 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 other, the other kids don't like him. He grew up not being liked and being kind of distrusted, and he had some social difficulties and decided, that's it, I'm going to become the ninja president. Yeah, that was 
basically his plan. I'm going to become the ninja president of the village and everyone will respect me because I'll be the president. Anyway, uh, except he kind of sucks. He's not very good at controlling his, his, his ninja magic. So, um, after failing and it looks like he's basically going to be flunked out of ninja school, he gets talked into... Basically, there's a conspiracy, there's some corporate espionage going on with other ninjas, and they want to get a hold of this this uh, forbidden, hidden scroll, and they get him to steal it. So he steals it, and he learns a forbidden, secret ninja technique of making shadow clones. Being able to make a copy of yourself with all of your abilities and knowledge and skills and everything, but it'll go away if anything hits it. Like, one hit, it disappears. But you remember I mentioned that Naruto has that demon sealed in him? Part of the reason he's having so much trouble using his, his ninja magic properly is because he has the demon's magic in him. He has... An absurdly massive MP pool. A bewilderingly high amount of MP, because it's the demon MP from the demon fox sealed in him. So when he manages to learn Shadow Clone Jutsu, he creates like a hundred of himself. And this is just pretty much what the series just runs with. It's just like whenever Naruto, like all the time, Naruto is just like, I just summon a hundred of me! And then there's a hundred of me attacking you. <laughs> and that's that's like his default baseline for the for the rest of the for the rest of the manga and the anime adaptation. Um, I really thought the anime peaked during the Chunin exam. I know a lot of I, I know people who really liked the Zabaza arc and really liked stuff that happened later on, but to me, it peaked in the Chunin exam. And I actually watched all of the filter, f filler. What was it? Like a hundred episodes of filler? Ugh. By the time it was done, my interest was so killed that by the time Shippoden showed up, I watched the puppet fight. That was really cool, but I didn't get through all of Shippoden. Um, man, the filler was such a drag. <laughs> all right, we now have the ability to heal a row of allies, like a Holy Knight can. Remove debuffs. Hmm. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to stop here for a second. What have we learned? Oh, this is gonna take some thinking. Um... I'm gonna have to fill this out. Can I tell it that you have to have more than one person who's at low health? I'm not sure. I'll put this away to think about later. It sounds pretty awesome. But she only has two red to begin with. I'm just going to leave it like this for the moment and we'll figure out how to use that later. That's a that's a power ability right there. That's a that's a big deal. Okay. Oh uh, my gosh, there's so many moving parts. Um, in Naruto, I believe he's the only character who ever learns that technique. And I don't think there's ever an adequate explanation as to why, because you'd think that all of the village elders would all know that technique. You'd expect Kakashi to be throwing it around, or maybe, um... Ah... Uh, this tripod is giving me trouble again, I see. Urgh. You'd expect, uh, you'd expect to be seeing, you know, all kinds of people. Maybe, maybe the, one of the Hokages might have used it. But yeah, if anybody else could use it, they wouldn't be able to do what Naruto does with it, because he just makes a shit ton of clones. Um... 
Later on, he learns a couple of other things that let him make use of the absurd amount of MP he's got. But yeah, they call them ninjas, but most of the characters in Naruto are actually wizards. <laughs> They're actually just wizards. There's, a, there's some fun to be had. I don't think it would make my top 10 anime list, but it's definitely worth, worth uh, watching if you have the time. It's definitely a, it's definitely a fun one. Yeah. Oh, there's like a ton of anime I want to watch and haven't gotten around to it. I got to see like a couple episodes of the anime where they keep eating fingers. Every time I think of Naruto, I think of the couple episodes I saw of that because some of the character designs just look like Naruto characters. <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen, that was the name of it. Yeah. I'm worried if I take this, the fight's over, and I want to rescue this guy first. There's a lot of enemies hiding in the forest and stuff. Oh, hey, there's Cyclones if I take that. Uh, these battles are getting really complicated. No! No way! You're kidding. No, that's impossible. They can't fail. I will give you all the items. You must not fail. I'll start by healing you. Good enough? No, it's still a slaughter. A horrible slaughter. What can I do to improve your odds? Well, I can give you a defensive draught? There's no way you're gonna lose to this. Okay. Something shifted. Something shifted heavily in our favor. It must have just been really, really bad luck. Getting hit... Okay, I'm starting to see. These things like to do wolf pack style attacks. Ooh, passive hold! That makes sense! You're stealing her ability to parry. I upped her defense just enough that she didn't die. With that item. Okay. So she's able to continue dodge tanking. Okay, I see what happened. Yeah, if the, if the dodge tanks both fell, yeah, I can understand why the party fall. Still, holy crap, that was close. And your dodge tanks aren't nearly as good as mine. Of course, they're also a wolf pack that's got crazy abilities like Passive Seal. Sealing my ability to parry. That is a nasty thing to do. Okay, guys, you have to finish them off before they can heal and revive. And the whole team is still alive. Does Naruto cleverly exploit the technique like I suggest? So, Naruto's a bit of a mixed bag. Um, there's times when they're being very clever and using attacks within attacks and being super sneaky ninja-y shit that they're pulling off. Uh, sometimes the point of ridiculousness. And other times... It, other times, it's more of what you'd expect from a shonen slugfest. Um, actually, some of the best fights are very straightforward. I think uh, Rock Lee versus Gara is the most unforgettable fight in the entire show. And it's very, very straightforward. Because, uh, basically, Rock Lee is the one ninja who is, who is just incapable of using ninja magic. He doesn't have 
any ability to use ninja magic. It's just not a thing he can do. And he has... His teacher is great. His teacher is, is just, No, you can do everything just with martial arts. It's fine. You can be a great ninja with just martial arts. And is training him ridiculously so that he is just... He is just a really good martial artist. <laughs> and, um... His trainer... His trainer, you don't find out for a long time because you think he was just the same, like he's just another guy who couldn't use magic and he wants to train this guy. No! No, he's actually... He's totally just a wizard. He's not even very good with martial arts. Like, he was really, like, one of their most powerful wizards. And he's been deliberately not using magic and just doing martial arts to prove to his pupil, no, no, you can totally be a great ninja and never use magic. It's fine. So that when he's finally forced to use magic, he's like, I failed as a teacher. I've been forced into a corner where I have to do this. <laughs> Ah, uh, but yeah, Rock Lee, he has a fight with a guy who can control sand telekinetically. The telekinetic sand guy is very straightforward. He uses sand to crush you. Rock Lee is very straightforward. He, is a, he uses kung fu, basically. But when the two of them have the two of them have one of the most memorable fights ever, somehow, despite the fact that it's just you know, <laughs> it's just that. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's, uh, as I said, it starts off especially strong with the, uh, we're going to be super cunning and clever, and they, they stick to that for a while. It, 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 the further you go with it, the more it looks like a regular shonen. You know, we'll summon giant things to fight, stuff like that. Yeah. That's a one-sided beat down right there. It doesn't matter if they're peppering us with arrows. Alright, I want you to go claim this. Uh... I'll let you flag the bridge along the way, though. Looks like we've run out of speed. Can get the griffin to redo that. Ooh, a new defense draw. Nice. Alright. Hurry up and reload that catapult. Good grief, half the war is over and you guys still haven't reloaded? They're so slow. Oh, the study thing? Yeah, he does that in the show at points. He doesn't figure that out for a while. Um, but then eventually he figures that out and he's like... He's training under a, under a master and the master has him trying to learn to do something and he starts training in that way. And yeah, it lets him study super fast. Let's him learn techniques that would have normally taken a long time to do. He also finds ways to cheat using Shadow Clones. It's like, oh yes, this technique! You have to do this complicated, difficult control for the Rasengan to get the energies to spin properly in your hand. Well, Naruto's shit at controlling his power, as previously listed. So now... What he does is he energizes the ball, and then he has a shadow clone standing next to him going, to get all the stuff spinning. He's like, there we go, that counts, right? Well, it, well, it's the Rasengan, it, it does what it's supposed to, it, the energy is doing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess you can get away with just cheating, and he'll just do that in fights for the rest of the show. He is always, he, he's always using the Rasengan with a second Shadow Clone cheating to make it work. Because he, he is not, he's never skilled enough to do it by himself. He's just not capable of it. Yeah. 
どう出るべきか行くぞお邪魔しますね Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> We've already taken that. <laughs> okay, let me see. We have... Hmm. I can swap, but not teleport. Alright. Hmm. This team... Is good against some things, but not others. They're not really supposed to operate alone like this. I think. How many doses we got left? Two. I think it's very important that this team keep going. I'll save the last dose. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works with the mana pool and how it divides among the Shadow Clones. Maybe, maybe a fan Naruto fanboy could explain all the intricacies. Or maybe not. I don't know. But, um... He's never good at mana control, basically. His... It's it's because his magic is not his own magic. It's the demon foxes. That he never has skill with it. And, uh... You know, the author's pretty good about him just never being really good with it. Like other ninja. Other ninja can be incredibly precise and have really good control of their magic. Naruto is just always going to be shit at mana control, because he's got one of the most powerful things in their world stuck in him, and he's using its power all the time. And, uh, you know, talking to it, getting into arguments with it, you know, you have an evil, powerful demon inside you that is willing to share its power with you. I don't know. I don't know if that raises any red flags. You know, seems seems to seems to work out for the kid. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally hit this, but they're all clustered around it. I should be able to strike with precision. But if I throw rocks over here, I just know he's going to change directions or I'm going to screw it up somehow. So, uh... I don't know if there's any place I could put these rocks safely. What a pain. No, I'm going to have you guys just move out. Go over there and just fight. And I'm going to go ahead and use a hastened call. We're going to start burning Valor abilities. I was thinking about claiming something and trying to hire guys, but I think... What if all of you suddenly couldn't move so good? What if you just suddenly lost 90% of your mobility? Huh? Yeah. What about that? You can also throw smoke bolts. I'm gonna steal some stamina. And prevent you from summoning reinforcements for a little bit. A two for one. Alright, that leaves me with two valor points and one rain. Okay. And that one's another easy one. 
Three guys that specialize in crushing my hoplite. Yeah, my poor hoplite was gonna eat it there, but whatever. Alright. They can't interfere with me because of gravity. I'm gonna claim this. Then I'm gonna summon reinforcements there. She should be able to get here. Yeah, I just recharged. Alright, guys. We need to rescue this guy or something. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but just go for it. And I'm going to crush this. Yes. Two more magic attack. That's what we want to see. Actually, what we really want to see is we want to find a hand mirror. This team is not... This team is not vincible. You can't vince them. They are invincible. Cool. And that lets me deploy the cavalry. And, man, most of these teams are still teams of four, which are getting really iffy up against teams of five. But the cavalry will definitely do the job. Okay, we've got four units coming in here. They've got four units. Should work out. I have one more campfire if I need it, but I don't think that I do. Some some of them just have teams of, like, three. Like, some of their teams are really dangerous, and some of their teams are really soft. Hmm. I don't think I can actually- I don't think the hoplite is allowed to block quick rebuttals. I've been wondering for a bit, but I'm not sure- like, I think he only blocks red attacks. Hmm. Uh, well, I, I think it is their job, actually. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't look for a video for size comparisons. I read the Dominion 6 rules. It's the same reason I, t I talked at the beginning how I I promised I was going to look at all the rapports in this game and pick out the good ones, and then I didn't. Yeah. Um, it's more than 400 pages. 
I'm, um... I have a long way to go. <laughs> I'm not even sure what page I'm on, but it's not very many. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Ugh. I'm trying to do my homework as a Let's Player, but... But my gosh! Yeah, I just had an entire textbook dropped on me! <laughs> they keep acting like they're dragging off all of these furries and elves and things to be sold in the main continent, but we never see any of them there. So I'm wondering if we're going to find that it's actually not, uh, if there's like actually some giant pile of, uh, just some giant blood ritual or something. Like, what, where, where are they being taken? Where? Where and for what reason? Yeah. Let me let me show it. Hold on. We'll take a brief detour. Yes, really. Uh it's okay, here we are. So <sighs> Give me one second. Okay. Hold on. Things. Okay. I'll give it to... I'll close that for a second. No, no, don't want to mess with that. Okay, here. This is the offending instruction manual. As you can see, it's big. And it keeps going and going and going. And you can see it ends up at uh, clocking in at over 400 pages. And so I've been working my way through it. Uh, and it is filled with uh, tables and all kinds of stuff. <sighs> I'm not going to remember a lot of this. I'm not going to remember which terrain types have what. But at least I have some idea of how things work. Uh, I do not know how much I'm going to play the game. Probably a good bit. It's a big, deep, complex game. It's going to probably take me a few, a handful of games just to get a handle on it. But yeah. Yeah, this is probably what I'm going to be working my way through for the next couple of weeks here. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Maybe I'll just find a really solid block of time. Maybe I'll find myself a really solid block of time and uh, just power through it. No, no, I don't want that. I want this back. Well, maybe I won't. And I'll slowly tick through it, uh, you know, just so much each day. I don't know. I don't necessarily need to read up on every civilization in the game. I could probably skip that part. Alright. The victory conditions have changed. Okay, great. Oh, you'll be taking orders from me when you're one guy with no equipment to speak of. Oh, thanks. So, uh... This disappeared. There was a thing here, and now it's gone. Not sure what that's about. I guess I can leave you on a ballista. 
It's good when the enemy is already partially crushed by a falling rock. Okay. There, I think everything is in motion correctly. So... Ah. Yeah. Uh, mm, I think I see what's going to happen and I don't like it. So let's swap to Oh hell no. Oh, that's bad. Uh okay, you guys are your the best bet we've got on this fight. Uh, I'll go with um I'll just see what happens exactly. I'm pretty sure that the grip, that the, uh. Pretty sure that the, uh, Rivern is gonna get taken down before it gets its attack off. So the werewolf gets stronger the more enemies fall, and then these jerks come forward, and guess what they do? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that I gave you a dodge scarf. Ooh, I'm so glad I made you a little dodgy. Ooh! Ah. Uh. Oh, shit. He did pull it off. Oh, they're just so tough. <laughs> Lifesaver. Really coming in clutch here. But <laughs> she is tougher than I give her credit for. Alright. Alright, goth medic. You have really impressed me today. Good work. Do what we can. Alright, that's just cleaning up uh, something that's already essentially defeated. Alright, that clears your path. Go over, take that. Even if an enemy jumps out and tries to get you, you could probably take them out with crossbow bolts. No. Oh. Let's do something spicier. Oh, no, never mind. That would that would be very bad. No, just go here. Go original plan. Hmm, yeah. Now this is interesting. Still alive! <laughs> she won't die! Wow! Oh my gosh. Uh, what is the time code on this, guys? I need to show this to somebody. Uh, uh somebody else who plays the game, just how durable she is. You'll wanna, you'll wanna take a look at this. Uh, let's see. No, no, um... Ah, ah... Uh, about an hour and 25-ish? There! Insane! Limp away with five hit points. Yeah, it's time for you to just withdraw. You are done. You are so done. Okay, let me see. You're basically finished as well. 
You can take that. The cavalry sh Oh really? Okay. Oh no 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 no, that's a problem still. Seize that. Wait for the order to strike. Okay, you're just gonna sit there, that's fine. That's good. Neat! Grab that if you could. Got it. All right, catapult rocks for you. Wow, this forest was filled with enemies. But my mages are more than a match. Level 29, we've almost got to level 30. Level 30 is where the final abilities usually kick in. All right. Okay, you cleaned up the forest. Grab every penny. Alright, we'll reduce the damage we take in the fight. Surprise rocks! Followed by a wild rush. Oh, that works. You felt that, didn't you? One of their archers is down. It's still not good enough? Alright, we'll hit even harder. up a defensive draught. Even with the 20% defense and everything? Well, this is a tough one apparently. Really? It's just a couple hoplites. We should be able to break them. Ooh, PowerPoint down. Oh, I didn't know that was part of that curse. Man, the shaman is so good. I want to use shaman. They're ridiculous. They're crazy. Come back, kid. Hmm. Yeah, I built a Holy Knight that uses toughness in a similar way. It costs you it costs you one of your blue points every single time you're forced to trigger it, but but it's so good. Yeah, I think the arrow reigns were the problem. You had two guys that could do that, so yeah. Normally, these knights are incredibly tough, so seeing them get wiped out was a shock. Anyway, since they've lost their cursor, we should be able to just kind of slaughter them now. Yeah, actually, that holy knight right there with the blonde hair, she's the one who's almost immortal. Doing tricks similar to what that priestess was doing. Debuffs everything. 
really have completely tanked this team. And suddenly we're healed! Well, sort of. I don't want to give the enemy time to heal, but I'll take any drips of healing I can get before we land. Oops. Uh, I wasn't expecting that to suddenly interrupt what I was doing. Anyway, there are tornadoes coming towards you now! That's right, Divine Cyclones. Okay, you healed a tiny bit. And you connected right before they got any healing, and you're still not getting the kill? Seriously? Is that hoplite really that tough? It's got one of those new fangled gold bangles and steel. But even so. I have no items left. Uh, shit, I really thought the cavalry would take this. Well, this is unpleasant. They can't get at that back row guy, and they can't stop him. Oh, this is terrible. Twenty-six, that's more like it. Come on, guys. Attacked up again? Come on, we've attacked up each other three times over. Then he got boosted his defense by a ton. I have no items left. What am I going to do? Saints Blade. It's kind of cool. I'll have to think about that later. I've got the tornadoes coming. You can definitely finish the job. You can definitely finish the job. But now they've all revived. They're all on their last breath, though. We'll hit them with more rocks. No. I wanted the cavalry to get the kill. I say, let them. I've not been using my archers nearly so much because I didn't up their team's sizes yet. I need to do that next. I want my archers in the field again because it helps so much. Being able to reroll battles and do some chip damage at the start of a fight. Yeah! That's really cool. But I don't know about a charge attack with 80% hit rate. How would I defeat an enemy with such a trait? Uh, well, they just have to run out of blue points, and then they'll die. The, basically. You just... You just hit them until... Or you could hit them with, uh... You could have Rogue steal all their blue points. Or you could have one of the Foxes seal. Hit them with passive seal. And then they wouldn't be able to do that. Um, there's plenty of ways to kill somebody who's doing that. Ah... Uh, 
my death blow team they make uh so my strongest team would poison you and the poison i don't know if the, i don't know if you can toughness your way out of poison but then they just shoot you like three hold on let me count Three, six, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. They make eighteen. They can potentially make more than twenty attacks. The most you can have is four blue power points. If you're a rogue, you can use those as evasions, and you can dodge me four times. If you've got some toughness ability that leaves you with one hit point, you can do that four times. And then you've run out. So, by sheer volume of attacks, I can crush somebody doing something like that. Uh... Or, as I said, you can do something else like seal their abilities or, you know, there's there's ways of dealing with it. But it is ridiculous seeing your character survive multiple hits that should have killed them. It's pretty wild. So she has impressed me with her ability to stay in play and hold hold on. Dude, I like that guy's cloak. No, that's cool. なんとか町は取り戻せたが、仲間が半数もすれ去られちまうなんて。ゼノイラメ。何バイノさん、これからどうするんだ。そんなの決まってる。だがよ、無茶だぜ。お鬼しても you know, I think it'd be really hard for a bipedal creature to have that extra joint in their leg. The werewolves seem to just have regular human legs, as far as the knees are concerned. But the foxes... Ah, that must be difficult. And I wonder what the advantages of that extra, that extra backwards knee are. Unifica. Or maybe... No, I'm looking at it wrong. You're standing on... Not exactly your toes? But that's your heel, isn't it? You're standing on the pads of your feet. I see it now. Okay. Well, that's crazy for a different reason, but sure, okay, fine, whatever. If that's just how you like walking. Cool. Well. Save your progress after that fight? Yeah, that was a big fight. I used all my items up again. But I wanted to find out about that cave. Ooh, Vorpal Sword! But what do you mean by hungering for flesh, sword? Ah, oh, it just has 23 attack, and that's actually good enough, honestly. That that's that's pretty good. Let's let's see. Who wants it? 
I've been pretty much just leaving you with this thing that gives you extra hit points and defense, and honestly, I like it. I do. <sighs> but your lean edge ability lets you heal based on the damage you deal, and... I'm just, I'm just gonna give you this now. You'll be a little bit more fragile, but I think it's for the best. what to do with you. You seem like one of the highest... Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That Now, that's an accessory. Um. Anyway, I, I feel like I could build around you. And I feel like you could also potentially just be good on your own. I'm just not in... God, you got three different status effects you can hand out. Or you can just do massive damage while cutting through somebody's defense. You can dodge. Your evasion is pretty good. You could be a dodge tank. Like, you are potentially... are potentially really good but I don't know exactly what to do with you my teams have been um... I also really like the owl Ugh. Call the coaxial warp drive. I remember them running, needing a new. Um, I want to say dilithium crystals, but I also want to say they needed a core or something. I hope I'm not mixing them up with Galaxy Quest. Doggone it. Anyway, um, I remember very early in the series they were running out of power. But uh, if you're asking me about technical details, I was a kid when I watched the show. <laughs> I don't, I don't remember like technical specs of anything because I didn't read any technical specs of anything. I just, you know, saw some of the show. <laughs> Stationing a guard. Here you go, tiger person. Alright, what cool stuff do you have for sale? Defensive draughts and power draughts? Yes, yes. Booze? Yeah, I got some guys who like that. I would buy your revival orbs, but man, you've made them very expensive. I'd better buy them anyway. Or I will seriously regret it later. Hit rate true. It includes magic damage. This is interesting. This is interesting. 
but also just being 20 attack with plus 20 accuracy makes this just a good weapon that anyone could use? I mean... Sadly, I mean, unless I want to give you an ice attack, nobody really has a need for it, though. Magic defense. What if I slip this on a hoplite? Ah, uh, even with that, yeah, I don't think there's any way I can get a hoplite to have high enough magic defense without giving them, like, a phantom shield or something. Hmm. I definitely have some options here, but, uh... <sighs> Definitely have interesting options, though. Oh! Yeah, I definitely don't remember, uh... uh anything about it. I may or may not have seen that episode. I don't know. <laughs> this one does not have the attack and defense draws. Gosh, want a spell that just want, want an attack for your mage that just ignores the enemy's? Uh... This is a physical attack. Wait, no, this is a physical attack that ignores 100% of the enemy's defense. Huh. Well, isn't that interesting? I do like the dragon bone shields. Yes, I should give this to you. Arigato. And this would end up. I guess that's fine. Arigato. All right. Very good. Ma I'm very grateful to the Coca-Cola Bear for selling me all that stuff. Astrals refuse to actually fight or do anything. Typical cats. Passive seal immunity. Passive seal immunity? I mean, that's suddenly become an issue. But the characters who can use it don't necessarily need 
well, it's still useful. Are we willing to surrender an attack point for passive skill immunity? Passive seal immunity. Yeah, I think we are. In this location specifically, it's worth it. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, well, we've claimed this spot, but that leaves me in the dark as to what's going on in this area. We didn't have a map here. We didn't fight for this. This has to be something! Don't even pretend like this isn't a thing, game. Has to be something. But whatever it is, I can't interact with it yet. So, uh... I wonder where the mine is. Hmm. Do I want to go that way? Or do I want to go a different way? Which way do I want to go? Oh, there's some non-Arctic here. Don't mind me! Five? Wow, that's not bad at all. Five? This is actually a pretty good haul. Oh good, I do have something that can take them out. The mages! Hmm. Wonder what the max level is. We've seen enemies with level 40, but nothing beyond that yet. Let's see. On a shuttle, and then they forgot about it. Hypothetical propulsion system. Hmm. Ah! I see. Space folding. Yeah, because I think the warp drive works by making a bubble, and then they can move faster faster than light while staying uh, inside the bubble. I think that's how a warp drive works, right? I don't know. I have a better understanding of the infinite improbability drive, to be honest. I can understand that one far better. Once you understand finite probability, it seems pretty easy to make one of those, too. Alright, so I guess I'm going to head... Uh, I need 1% more of the map. Just 1% more! to be a big area, and I'm not seeing... Mm. Mm. I'm gonna go north instead. I'm gonna go north. Yeah, yeah, let's go north. There's something up here. Okay, that brings me back to here. Seven percent more. Okay, is this a port? This appears to be a dead end. I 
Ice crystals. Why would they ever want ice crystals here? Well, then again, I know people who like who go out and buy ice so that they can have it in their drinks, so, even during our winters. So, all right, fine. I guess. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this corner out then. I'ma go for it. What seems to be your problem, guys? Information broker, you say? Huh. No fighting! Listen, Toriel, would you like to join my party? You look like you'd have interesting abilities on the battlefield. No? Hmm. Alright, maybe over here? Hey there, little cat person. Do you need a whole bunch of people dead? That's pretty much the only thing we're good for. Our first priority is to know more about the Gordon fella. Okay, let's ask with our spears. People will tell you all sorts of things if you start putting spears in them. What? You need me to go talk to people? What kind of, what kind of combat is this? Do you own three separate log cabins? What a wealthy kitty. Hmm. What do you think? Got nothing to say. Oh. Well, buy him a drink and then listen. So I guess we're stingy, even though we've got tons of alcohol among our goods. Ah, gee, okay, hmm. Sure. Area. Why?
Why are we reviewing it? It's not like it happened in the last episode. The, the cat person that was literally the person who gave you the mission? Oh, maybe he can help us get inside. Well, he wasn't able to before. Why could he now? You should be checking the containers to see if they're filled with people. You know that's what it's going to be, right? I don't even see a cave there. Oh, pretty. Yeah, artificial wormholes would be exactly the uh, thing you'd want as a space empire. That would be the thing to have. Oh, come on. You guys are wearing heavy armor. He's a cat. There is no way you've cornered him. I call bullshit. No possible way you would ever corner him. Uh, we could have probably asked those two a whole bunch of questions. No? <laughs> Meanwhile, the cat's like, Holy shit, they just killed people in front of me! Oh my gosh! What have I allied myself with? Who are these thugs? Uh, you want a key? Here, please take it. Take anything. Thanks. Now we can get into the orphanage with our swords and our axes. Thank you. Beastmen are probably the reason that we don't see any mice beastmen. Alright. Well, I have the key, so, uh. Why bother knocking? they have lots of food fruit even despite the fact this is the arctic where are they shipping all those apples and grapes and peaches and where are they shipping all this from that's quite the wide palette for a medieval society when these are all presumably out of sea masters of stealth Can you spot them? <laughs> oh, you were just in the room the whole time. Oh, hey! It's you! We haven't seen you in forever! Ever since you ran away from the swamp! What? What? He was in the room and he didn't see us come in and talk and hide behind the chairs? We'll just pick up a chair and hit him with it. I mean, come on, we know who he is now. He probably deserves it. Hey there, Bez.
よしよしせっかくこの孤児院を手に入れたのだ孤児どもを奴隷として売りさばく何としても成功させねばな子供たちをそんなひどい扱いするなんて何者だあユニフィ逃げるぞ You know, I thought that you were the stealthier of the two of us, but then you did that. <laughs> Why are we running? We can kick his ass. <laughs> See, I still don't believe you, game. If you're gonna do this, you have to show it in the earlier parts. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Am, am I just being too particular? I'm probably being too harsh, but... Doggone it, game! You have the perfect excuse to have shown your beastmen and your elves at the beginning of the game. And the beastmen sprites are spectacular! It should have been one of the first things you showed players, just to be like, look at this cool thing. Yes, they're in the northern continent. You got both the elves and the beastrels insisting the story is absolutely that they're being kidnapped, abducted, and dragged off to the central continent to be sold. So why weren't they there? Why didn't we see them there? These sorts of things bug me. <laughs> you gotta be consistent. You have to be consistent. It's important to a story. <laughs> All right, anyway. As I said, I'm going to just assume until they tell me otherwise that there's some giant sacrificial altar that they've been dragging them all to. Oh yeah, we're gonna sell you as a as a as a worker, really. What's with all the blood? Oh don't mind that. Just put your head through the through the big slicey hole. I mean the um um you just put your head there, please, sir. <laughs> cause cause yeah. That's the only thing that would make sense here. Again? <laughs> I have to ask. I think it's possible if you sequence break. I think it's... No, it's not. Because this happened before you rescued Scarlet and you couldn't go this way. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, no. There'd be no way. Okay, never mind. Anachronox. I still haven't played that one, but I got that one. Uh, somewhere. I know I have that one. I think. We're on a time limit to get to the ship. Probably gonna be a mission that's got two parts to it, where the objective changes part way through. Okay. So 
Cavalry, you're going to have a tough time there. Hmm. What the hell is this team supposed to do? One owl I get, but three owls? Supporting... I guess that would give him unlimited healing, sort of? But not really? Uh, that, that team's not going to... That was a dysfunctional team you got there. Um. Hmm. You're pretty well guaranteed to sail through everything here and simply skip over the barriers. I only get three, so... Knock that out. Greed, of course. We must grab all the things. Take that out. We'll suffer a little bit for it, but it's okay. The watchtower will be taken out next. Oh, that timer is moving quite fast. Cavalry charge ought to be enough to knock that over. I really wish they'd made an animation for the watchtowers to be smashed and broken in some way. How cool would it be if you had a way to knock the whole tower over? Oh hey, a landmine. I still haven't used any of those and I, I want to. I want to use landmines and bear traps. I literally charged my cavalry straight there. What do you mean there's no time? Alright, what the hell is this team supposed to do? What are you doing? Why three owls? Okay, okay, yeah. So he's guaranteed hit. Good. Alright, you gave him magic defense. That's, um, okay. Circle barrier. Alright. And you can restore each other's power points, which seems really dumb. You should... Um, yeah. Well, I have no idea what this team was supposed to do, but it failed to do it against cavalry. Seriously. The owl is a support. Why would you stack three of them? Three of them! Please do so. Please remove it from my list. <laughs> hmm. Um, I don't see that you've given me a whole lot of reasons not to play. You said not confronting the enemy and cowardly running away. Did you say something else about it? Did I miss something? I might have missed something. Oh, I need to get up and around there. There's gotta be another shoe that's about to drop. Well, whatever it is doesn't work on this team either. 
I don't know what the triple owl surprise is for, but it's not working against us. Okay, now this is more like it. Two owls with three gladiators. You gave them all true strike. You gave them all magic. Okay, now this I can get behind. This is a team. I don't remember what that circle protection is supposed to do. Ooh, no! I'll remove my buffs. Dodgy too. <laughs> this team is ridiculous. And they're still buffing themselves and getting more and more worked up. I see. All right, I'll I'll have to take a note about it. A Nacrodax, huh? Hmm. All right. Hmm. I don't know about Saint's Blade. Yeah, it's a shame. My short term my short term memory is very strong usually. But uh I don't really know of a way to cultivate better long term memory. Like there's a lot of mental skills that you can just do exercises to develop. If you want to be better at visualizing things or, you know, all kinds of stuff, there's exercises for it. But long-term memory well, is not an easy thing to, to improve, unfortunately. How are you getting out of here? Hey, 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 what are you doing? How are you doing this? You guys are the slowest moving units in the game. And you're just, and you're cornered in a corner and you're just gonna somehow run out of there? Okay, I need this. Shit. Don't confront him yet? Oh no, actually that's just fine. Bonk him. Yeah, that's fine. Do that! He'll survive, but he'll be stunned for a bit. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that team guy. It would give my cavalry a hard time, but, uh... This ain't the cavalry team. your defenses, stunning you, setting you on fire, poisoning you. This team just kind of does everything. I'll give them that. Absurdly so. Hmm. 
<laughs> More poison. That's right. Last week? That sounds like, uh... What you, what you did last week sounds like long-term storage to me. make a run for that yes since I have a couple more points you're my lowest level team aren't you why don't you go finish him off you've actually got an armor breaker in your uh, front guy so you've got this you shouldn't throw yourselves against this team. It's not gonna work out well for you. Alright, I wanna grab two more things. That's one of them, turned out to be garbage, whatever. I want you to hit that. Cool. Got it. A healing tonic. Oh, okay. So, I could hit you with special abilities if I wanted. And I do. Eat this. Ooh, we won't quite get the kill immediately. Is this so? Really? Is that so? Wow. There we go. Just enough. Just enough. Barely. All right. So she should... She should leap forward with armor crusher. Oh, oh, magic attacks. No, yeah, there we go. Do it. Come on, come on. Man, our initiative must suck. Oh uh, yeah, we are lower level, to be fair. Magic attack! Yo, Achilles heal! Magic at oh wait, no, that's just a regular arrow. Hold on. We'll get it. Come on, guys. There we go. Specifically an anti-armor attack. Then our magic arrow, that would have also been armor crushing, but, you know, there's no armor to crush. Even though this is my lowest level team, and it's only a team of four, it's what brings you down. Because you were unworthy to be crushed by one of my real armies. Two level ups on one of them. 
literally gain two level ups. And we finally learned Boon of the Fairies! Hey! Alright, Elven Magic. Well, it's a spear with 23 attack. It's got a defense ignoring attack, and it's unguardable. Unguardable, huh? I mean, it's a great spear, but I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I have a lot of great spears. Uh, all of the all of the beastmen look really cool in this game. fight through dozens of mooks to get to the boss again. Sounds like it was made by FromSoft. Oh, catch you later, Dabard. Yeah, I know, right? We could talk to, uh... You know, we could talk to one of the modders. Yeah, I don't know. Werewolves drive me crazy in Master of Magic because statistically they should be good. Like, they have all the things necessary to be a really good unit. And yet, they're just not good. I think they just cost too much for their value. <sighs> but they should be good. And I've never found a way to build around them. Like, there has to be a way. There has to be a way to make werewolves rip the game apart. I just don't know what it is. A Magitech system. Hmm. Small Wadida. Calls on Sidobomo. No, Le Hanangundomo. Kakanaru. What? What? No, you know, she can ever. Your spear does like two points of damage. I'm sure he'll be fine. Game, stop treating hoplites as if they were capable of dealing damage. If you wanted them to do that, you would have had to give them such a capacity in game. But no, it's gameplay and story segregation, of course. <sighs> I still haven't played Dusex. That's also on my to-do list. We have arrows. You're not wearing a helmet. Oh! Well, good job. Oh, that's right. You were hunting witches earlier. Yeah, she doesn't like you very much, does she? さまは<笑> Well, all right, then. Yeah, do sex, system shock, so many things. Ah,先生、ご無事でよかった。ルー、心配をかけてすまない。聞けば、ルーが助けを呼んでくれたそうだね。おかげで助かったよ。ありがとう。皆さんにもご面倒をかけ申し訳ありません。いや。<sighs> <sighs> みんなが無事でよかった。そうそう。子供たちも救えたしね。本当に感謝の言葉もございません。これからまた個人を再開しようと思います。子供たちのための王国。I wonder if we could somehow man You know, if I ever found myself spontaneously made a billionaire, I'd probably go 
and somehow convince Ilwinter and Vanellisov to work together. Can you imagine the next B Dominions game, but with this kind of graphics to it? <laughs> Just steal their artists. This is going to borrow your artists for a bit, okay, Vanilla Soft? There's, there's a couple of games. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll have you pay a visit to Master of Magic and, uh, you know. Okay. Uh, I personally despise enemies that scale with you. What's the point of leveling up if the enemy also leveled up? I really like an open world like in Baldur's Gate where it's just there's just creatures and things all over the place and you know they just are what they are. I give a pass very specifically to Lunar Silver Star Story Complete and Lunar 2 Eternal Blue. Partially because it was still a relatively new idea, but mostly because their implementation was just better. It wasn't every single monster in the game. No, it was only bosses. And level up still helped you kill the bosses. Um, but... Uh, yeah, it was only the bosses that scaled to you. Once again, the game is like, oh yeah, Hot Springs, there's no way, they had, you know that in their development, they had intended for there to be Hot Springs. I don't know how, but they didn't actually include them. But the build-up Rapport mechanic and everything they got going, you know that that had to have been something they wanted to include in the game. I would not be surprised at all if they released a patch and suddenly they included those. A free DLC or some such. God, I hope they port this to, to PC. A snow witch? Hey, Yanma, you know anything about a witch living up here? Well. Rocks and salmon. Weren't you the one showing me the, the, uh, civilization of evil clowns in Dominions? Crap, I need to go hire more people just to stick them in, uh... Ooh. Beast Slayer, huh? Attacks a row. I mean, that'd be really good in this area, but probably not very relevant after. If I were going to give it to someone, it would probably be... Oh, I need to give up PowerPoint, but, um... I guess I'd give it to you. I'm okay with using Beast Slayer here. Vorful. Uh. Watch out. This great shield will knock off your head on a crit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, I this. Don't, don't have what I really want, but okay, fine, whatever. I'll take what the bunny man has to offer. Uh. 
Oh, then I don't know who sent it to me. I don't remember who showed it to me. Yeah, somebody showed me a video of the clown one. <laughs> it, was, it was amusing. Slow combat with turn-based games. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I, I actually, um... So, by genre, turn-based strategy is my favorite. Real-time strategy is probably my second favorite, although, honestly, I haven't played a ton of real-time combat games. Aside from the, all the ones made by Blizzard, of course. But, uh, there's like a bajillion of them, I uh, like Command and Conquer and all kinds of things that I actually never got around to. So even though it's my second favorite genre, I have a minimum experience with it, all in all. And then probably the Western RPG. Though I've played way more JRPGs than Western RPGs. This, God, a good Western RPG is just amazing yeah those are my top three genres and no I have no freaking clue where idle games would fit in if I did a list of my favorite genres of game I have no idea where idle games would fall they're kind of a different experience from other games you know And I tell you what wouldn't make the list. Sports games. I can think of maybe two sports games in my life that I've really honestly enjoyed. Wait, this guy's still alive? You're gonna leave him in the place where he was doing all of his terrible evil? Man, we are the worst king. Uh, somehow we destroyed this place? Man, must have been a nasty fight, except he ran out of the place. So how'd it get ruined? We were literally inside the building and saw all the food and everything earlier. How did it get busted up like that? Makes no sense. Oh good, but they have they have the draughts that we wanted so badly. And they sell booze! Oh, the orphanage and alcohol shop. Oh well. Oh, if you get attacked, you can turn a blue into a red. It's interesting. Ah, an axe that hits a row of enemies and murders beasts. Well, axes do like to hit entire rows of enemies. Hmm. Let me check Mordon for a second. Hey, old drunk guy. Ah, there you are. I mean, I like the assaulting blow a lot. But you know what I'm gonna say to you? You know, attacking a row is fantastic. But I think you should use Assaulting Blow if you can find somebody. Anyway, if they're beast rules, just whack them with this. That'll mess them up good. More and more and more, this particular formation is just like... It has an answer for every type of enemy. <laughs> that doesn't actually make it a very effective team, but... But sometimes they just win. Ah, uh, we need more honor. 
We need to set up more teams to five, and I still have class changes I need to get done. Sure, why not? Tactical RPGs fall under turn-based strategy, don't they? Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Disgaea, yeah, that's all turn-based strategy. Ah, Cardia was the first uh, tactical RPG I ever encountered. I still haven't done Cardia as a live stream. That was a special game for me. It was my going away present when I left California from a friend. One of those great friends you have, and then you never hear from them again, and you're like, whatever happened? I don't believe you. That's a cute little exchange. Ah, what are we doing now? What's the exclamation point over here? Something here. Ah! Oh. Cartia! No, 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 it's... Cartia, the world of fate. It's a PS1 game. Uh, it's a PS1 turn-based strategy game with a pretty cool world. It's got two different campaigns in it that are pretty linear. Uh, it actually has multiplayer competitive play, of all things. Um, it's a cool game. It's a really cool game. Uh, it's doesn't look like anything else on the uh, on the console I really need to do do a uh, stream of it sometime eh video game genres are a giant income uh, incoherent mess they spill into each other every which way If you want to be granular, then you have to break down turn-based into... You end up with 4X, Strategy RPG, uh, I don't even know what chess would be put down as, but all the chess-like games would be a different category. Uh, you know... <laughs> Oh yeah, almost nobody played Cardia. It didn't sell well. Uh, it's a, it's never gotten a sequel. It's virtually unknown. Our enemy is the weather. Let us kill these blizzards. No, there's supposed to be an ice witch somewhere. We should probably talk to her.
No. No, not yet. No, no, no. So... I see. I can go that way. Or I could could confront the fortified city. Hmm. I bet that ice path is going to be a long battle. Let me give the fortified city a touch. See how it goes. I need a couple... I need to hire a couple people to stick in those cities still. Sturdy timber. Gold ore. Hi, how's it going? There are actually people here. What? Is that a surprise? The boss is another hoplite, huh? Rock rats. Oh! Hi, rock rats. How's it going? We're meeting people again! All over the place! How could I forget Mr. Big Nose? I mean, if you guys settled in an abandoned city, it kind of is yours, isn't it? どうやら俺たちも本気で戦う時が来たよ。団長が戦ってんなら、みんな下が俺ら岩根積みたに拾われなきゃとっくに乗たれ死んでるんだ。やりますか。According to the descriptions in Toho of the music, Zune was uh, talking about how mice are actually really strong. One bit him once in a hammock. I don't know why, it just made me think of that. That obscure bit of nerd trivia. All right, level 30. Is that so? Fighting a fortress city. Nina? Okay, we don't seem to have a talk thing, so I'm guessing I don't send her... Yeah, I guess I don't send Nina here. Oh yeah, you guys are level 30 alright. Prepared to attack if I came from behind. So I don't know how good five werewolves are as a team. Like, it, it makes sense. Their abilities, like... We can synergize, but I, I don't know. I feel like you need something else in the team to make it really work. See, this is a better team. A practically indestructible front row, and then a back row that deals massive damage. What you need is a medic in a tower to support it. Now this, this, this would hurt. 
Ooh, look at the catapult hidden behind over here. Now that could hurt. There are literally no items for me to pick up, so... But mages! Mages would melt it. Alright. Could try to fly over and snipe them. Oh shit, that won't work. That kind of All right, hide. All right, you're being stealthy. The catapult is planning on halting. This should be absurdly one-sided because of the initiative bonus. Normally, wizards are super slow. Like, the initiative bonus is critical, and there's only a few ways I could get that. So I don't mind spending my main character here on this team. Let's see, uh... Just with sheer force, they're breaking my hoplite. Uh. Oh, well, that's a switch. You can always just put your switch to sleep and walk away. In fact, it might you can you can even pause the software at any moment. So, yeah, you can sort of already do that. Hmm. I want the XP. Go get the XP for me. Those rocks, those rocks are a killing blow. I'm still perfecting this team, so I like watching how they perform against different situations. Our mages are faster than your mages. Yeah, I actually have a lot of initiative boost on this team. Okay, everything's stunned. She charges her attack. This is like what this team is classically designed to do. Stun everything while she charges up her attack. This is what I wish they'd do to every opponent. More stun. Can't quite pull off another stun, but hey, whatever. This should do the trick. Trinity Raid's good stuff. I don't know why I'd ever use Volcano over Thunderous Strike, but it does have a bite to it.
Keep moving. Don't get caught in the rocks. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. Go home. So there's some invisible werewolves. But we don't care. Oh, they're hard walled. But it doesn't matter, because this team isn't. So. I have a new weapon specifically for killing beast people, and guess what there is not any of here. Oh well. This team has an answer for everything still. When he finally swings that hammer, it's gonna be death. If being frozen meant you couldn't guard. Guarding is like a 75% damage reduction when it's got the big shields behind it. You guys are pretty resistant with this team. Elf was MVP here. Oh, yeah. He counts as an armored troop, so yeah. That guy doesn't, though. And then, yeah, heal everyone. Insult to the injury. Oh, no. Where all these werewolves come from? It's almost as if they were stealthing the whole time! <laughs> Tanks are important! Tanks are really important. You can't really build teams without something tanking in this game. Like... Like, I can imagine teams that don't have anything to tank. you relying on high initiative and fighting power, but I don't think they'd ever be good. You know? Like, maybe they could kill one group of enemies very well, but they're gonna take damage. There's just no getting around it. And you really want teams that can fight multiple battles. Though I do think a shaman could work as a substitute for a tank, depending on what you have in your party. The shaman's debuffs are just that good. I'm gonna find a place for her. Hmm. Another ability I need to consider. No, no, a priestess doesn't count as a tank. Um, unless the priestess is able to tank damage or dodge for herself. <clears throat> but yeah. 
you might be able to get away with not having a tank if you had a priestess that was capable of doing multiple resurrections. Nah, I really don't think you could. As I said, the only way I can imagine a team working without some kind of tank is to go with a hyper-offensive team. But they're always going to take hits. So your options are kind of Hoplite, one of the Dodge tanks, uh, Holy Knights tank pretty well. They tank and they heal. So that works out fairly well for them. How about vengeful guard? If you just guard on your own, it would be a heavy guard. And the vengeful guard's only a medium. But you don't guard super often, because you're built to be aggro, not uh, defensive. I don't know, I don't know about that ability. Hmm. Uh, I have one paladin. And I can have as many Radiant Knights as I like. So I'll point to them in a second. Luris. ことある。お前も所詮は貴族だろ。同じ苦労ガレリウスを倒し、ようI have a feeling I'm going to look at this guy and find his stats unacceptable. Let's look. Then I'll show the one paladin and the radiant knights. So, uh, those are tools to work with. They happen to be in the same party right now. Okay. Well, first let me take a look at this guy. I can use him as a town guard if nothing else. Defensive Hardy! Oh, we actually have a winner with this guy! He's already class changed and he's already level 30. He can take the place of one of the guys I'm using that is not class changed. Yeah. Yeah, I can use him. I can definitely make use of him. Okay. You asked about Paladin. This is the Paladin class. So, they have the ability to heal. They have... 
The ability to dispel the enemy's buffs. They can reduce damage to your to their allies. They can guard. You know, this is a paladin. The Radiant Knight has much less capacity for damage. However, they have healing. They can heal the entire row. They have magic barrier. Row barrier. Yeah, basically, uh, they get really, really good magic protection that they can extend to those around them. And they can heal pretty well, actually. Not anywhere near what a cleric can do, but short of a cleric, they're about as good as it gets. And they're reasonably durable and tanky. As you can see, she's got more hit points than the guys behind her. She's practically... She, she's not immune to magic, but she might as well be. And, uh... Yeah. She's got a shield. I gave her the toughness belt, which makes it ridiculous, because every time she would die, she just has one hit point. As long as she doesn't run out of blue blue points. So instead of using the row barriers and the magic barriers, no, I just have her use toughness a few times. She can do it two or three times. And she can heal herself. So it works out quite well. But by herself, she doesn't have quite enough healing. Even with the paladin, they don't quite have enough healing. So one of the knights has a first aid kit that heals the entire team after a fight is done. Personally, I consider this to be the best cavalry class by a mile. The Great Knight is just fantastic. But these work pretty well, and they tank pretty well. I mostly used Hoplites as the backbone of my army, defending everything. You can see almost every team has one in it. This team runs dodge tanks. This team is running the lady with two shields. I really wish I had more of her. And this team is running two... So I've got two teams that run dodge tanks. I find dodge tanks work extremely well in this game. Everyone else... Almost everyone else is running a hoplite. Which is... Um, not the most reliable. I don't think I have the resources to get this town turned on. Oh yeah. Valkyrie Profile, when you get to the late game, is practically built around surviving on one hit point. Ah. Uh. My gosh, I actually had enough resources. I'm shocked. Amazing. Well, alright then, the town is fully restored. Freely now. <sighs> I need to pick up a bear. I want to expand my units. Oh, yeah, a tavern. Sure. Sure. Goat mom will prepare us a nice meal. Oh, 
I'm not a big shellfish fan myself. Oh, wow, steaks. Nice. Yeah, 6,500 apiece. Uh, that's, that's a bit much. Okay. That's a pretty good haul. Death Pillar. Oh, there's a name for a thing. Minus one AP. Oh, this would be very, very hard to use. Huh. Attack two guys. Poison them. If they're already poisoned, they just die. I would have to give you three red. No, two red for you to actually be able to pull this off. Huh. It's pretty good. 150 physical, 150 magic. This would go on an elf and just... This is actually a really good move. This is actually a really good move. Oh shit, I'm out of money already. Arigato. I might actually give this to a certain dark elf. Maybe, maybe not. So good, maybe. maybe. Alright, we have more equipment. More really good equipment. Alright, who was it? I had some but you. It's you. Yeah, that rope protection sounds real good, don't it? If I replaced your gauntlet with this... Your initiative is too low. The fight would be over before you got to it. I really want rope protection and bulwark, but... I don't think it's going to work out. You're just too slow. I'll have to take the time to go through everybody and give them what they need. I'm guessing you want alcohol. Yeah, I doubt you want a dress. Or a cut flower. He didn't like the booze? Salt? Are you the reading type? I have no idea what this guy- FOOD! No? Really? A gemstone? Oh, I should have known. ourselves a little fortress city. Let's get that path up there. Hmm.
not quite what I wanted for. I wanted for a way to get around. Okay. Oops. What do we got here? If I could pick a class for the main character, what class would I pick? Uh, he's got a unique class, which, um... It has an ability to give everybody plus 20 initiative. That's really good. There's only two characters I've got who can do that. So... Yeah, I don't mind... I don't mind his class because it's unique and it's useful. I'd leave it as is. I got priests who can heal. I, I got I got some priests. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Anyway, I got some medics. Would you like their help? そこで頼みがある。北の I'd make him a second Dark Marquis. The Dark Marquis is the best class in the game. I'm going to hit this map over here because I think it's going to be a short one. I think we can knock this one out real quick. Sagavona. Yeah, there's a tiny one. No tricks. That I can see, anyway. No items to collect, no side objectives, just knock out this. How hard can it be? Oops. Uh, apparently there are guys hiding in the woods. That wasn't supposed to happen. Um... Uh, okay, hold on. That, that's, that's not supposed to happen. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Uh, <clears throat> I was just deploying you to be a medic for the actual fighting force. Wasn't supposed to be, uh... <laughs> okay. Alright. 
Let's see. Hmm. Okay, and then... I guess my actual fighting force will be this team. They're pretty good. And they can handle some stupid rogues. Hmm. Farsight increased visibility, assist range. Oh, okay. Oh, suddenly this is um oh. Oh my! This is a problem. They're hitting me with too much stuff. side of the is nice. They're going as high as a 37% chance to hit the fencer. The Elven Fencer is even more likely. It's practically guaranteed to get hit. These guys are getting a lot of attacks in. Uh. Okay, that's a little better. Excellent work. Yeah, it was inevitable. Excellent, that was basically a free kill. Okay. Pretty much puts the team in the same situation they were before the fight. Concerned, but probably it'll be okay. Alright, this team goes again. the same shape you were in. Fine, I'll give you a healing thought. Hmm. Hmm. Two power plants. Hmm. Hmm. 
Alright. Finally put an end to you. And then I can put you in the tower. Yeah, that turns things around a bit, don't it? Oh, you do not have it in you, do you? That's okay. Surprise archers. Okay, what can we deploy to assist? Hmm. Archer think it's going. Oh. Well, I guess that won't be helping any. One more. We're just burning these left and right. Spite's proving a little trickier than I expected, but whatever. Alright, let's see how this goes. Not so familiar with how the bear works in actual battle. you acted gifting the bear. Oh well. Ah! Well, this is... Alright. Hmm. It's pretty tough. But if he can't heal himself because he doesn't get a turn, it won't matter. If, if, come on guys, come on. Come on. Yes! Okay. Your formation is broken, you're doomed. Even if we don't have enough to finish the job. You're already doomed. 
Okay, come on, parting resurrection. Perfect. But I'm gonna let this team finish the job. Or not. Ah, we can afford it. It'll take two wax. Hmm. You started with Boone the Fairies instead of hitting them? I don't know about that. I'm just gonna skip to the finish here. There's a single thing left. to approve them. Anyway, level up, level up, level up, level up. That team's not as far behind. And we should be able to afford a new slot for one of the teams. Four points, we can get four points. Okay, we have a port town by the looks of it. Some smelt, some timber. One of those. Quills. Huh. I have no money. Another silver moon bow. <laughs> the no fun police step out. Don't go this way. Alright, I'll go over to where that catapult was instead. There was a sparkly... Yep, I knew it would take me here. Basically out of time, so we can't do another big fight, but we can take a few care of a few little things. First question How much do we have? We've been finding as many as five at once. Uh, I still can't afford this epic shield, but we're getting there. All right. I can... Ah, jeez. I'm gonna... I'm gonna expand one of my units. <sighs> Several screaming for the extra slot. Very tempting. 
I'm actually going to put it on this team. Arguably the most dysfunctional of my teams. And what I'm going to slip into the team is my one shaman who I really need to class change. I really need to class change her. She has no survivability. She can't be the front. But neither can any of you really afford to be the front row. While you're charging up, the toughness can't trigger. It was a mistake to give you this. You really need to hit harder. That's what you really need to do. But I don't have a great way to do that. But I could give you a veteran's eye patch. You bring your crit rate up even higher. So anyway, uh, that should be fine, I guess. Um, we just have nobody to put in the front row. Like, you would be amazing for this team, if only... Because you can do this... If I class change her, she can do the swamp thing, which slows down all the enemies. And then she could just curse the crap out of them. I gotta, I gotta re, I gotta, I gotta alter her quite a bit. I'm gonna have to fidget with it and see what we can do. Next thing. We're finally at 75%. Lazy map maker. Mining passes and meal tickets again. Is that all you ever do? I don't think I've done... I mean, we've gotten some equipment and some things. But I don't believe that my most important teams have gained strength sufficient to make it any further here. The equipment and stuff is nice and all. He's stronger now. I really doubt it. This team's a bit better too. But I really doubt it. It seems unlikely. But we'll give it a whirl. What the hell? After this, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll actually, eat something, then go to bed. Alright, speed up. Be down! Guaranteed hit Cavalry Slayer! Guaranteed hit... Paralysis! Another one. All is going well so far. But things are gonna turn... Things are going to take a sudden turn at some point, right? Front row, stunned. She's begun. I've stolen too much of his AP and PP. He's not going to be doing much. Thunderous strike, stunning two more. But... Couldn't stun Mr. Firebreath. Okay. Oh, the Trinity Rain! Alright. That was everything. Now they get to do their part. And things start to fall apart. Oh, 
we do so good. It's close. It really is. Ah, uh, it really is close. But yeah, no, 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 we're still not quite there. And if we can't handle the Colosseum, we definitely can't handle the Mausoleum. So... So yeah, we'll carry on tomorrow. I have several new pieces, and I'm just not sure what to do with them. I have four new types of units, plus there's also the bear and the werewolf, so... I have six new types of units to play with, and I have no idea what to do with them. There's some things in here that are super promising, but... I'm just not sure. I feel like the owl in particular could be the gas tank I need to do something with. Oh, I don't know. I did what guys dessert? Huh? I don't know. I'm going to eat and sleep. I'm actually super tired. Uh, I am not staying up late again reading the book. I'm just going to eat and sleep <laughs> this time. Uh, I want to get through that Dominion's book quickly, but I know it's just not going to happen. <laughs> it's going to be a slow, a slow process. Anyway, till next time and every time. In the arena? Oh. Oh! I don't know. They're just some, they're just some Zenorian deserters that were apparently really, really strong, apparently. Because they kicked my butt.